Hello Automators, thanks for tuning in again. I'm Brian from Automate Your Life and today it's the Nest Audio. We're going to get the Nest Audio unboxed and set up in today's video and this is just a basic setup but I'll have more resources for you at the end of the video. Now, what you're going to see as soon as you open up this box is the big speaker and it is quite a heavy speaker. It's actually three times as heavy as the original Google Home. So this is a big beefy speaker and it's that's heavy. because it's actually designed with a lot of metal. Now, you do get a 24 volt 30 watt adapter and some basic cards for getting things set up and some information now the speaker itself has a small plastic plate on the bottom and then on the back you can see the adapter hole and the mute microphone switch that adapter is specifically made so you do have to use the one they give you in the box and you don't want to ruin that because it is hard to replace Otherwise, that's it, and we're ready to plug in the speaker and start the basic setup process. Now, you do get those little clips, and those will help you manage the wires, so keep those around. Once you have waited a few minutes, your speaker will be ready to go, and we're gonna hit the plus up in the top left, then we're going to hit set up device. The next step is to hit the set up new devices in your home and we will choose one of the homes here. You might have to add one if this is your first speaker you're setting up. Now, it should find that the Nest Audio speaker is sitting next to you. It should say that it was found. Once it's done that initial connection process, it will actually give you a little sound from the speaker and you have to acknowledge that you heard that sound and you've therefore selected the right speaker. Next up is the ability to help improve Nest Audio. I always say no thanks to that because it's sending statistics away. And then you're going to choose the room where the device is. Now at the bottom you can actually add a custom room or pick from some others that are not already in your Google Home. So go ahead and select that and then you will find the ability to give the device a new name. Call it whatever you'd like but this is the name you'll be using when you ask it to play anything. The next step is is to connect it to our Wi-Fi. And again, if this part of the process doesn't work, I'll have some other resources for you at the end of the video. We're going to choose our Wi-Fi and then enter a password. Now I've already entered mine in and then it will go through a connection process here to your Wi-Fi. The next part of the process is to set up the Google Assistant. We're just gonna hit next here because it's talking about privacy and some things that you can read on your own time. Now the voice matches something that I definitely recommend. You hit next on, you hit agree, and then it'll probably ask you to a few times say the wake word in a couple of sentences and that creates a voice profile. And the reason I say you should do this is because then you can get personal results, which is calendars, contacts, reminders, and more on this device. The next thing is to do the default music service. So this is anytime you ask music to play, you're just picking one of those services and you will have to have either a paid or a free account with any of those services. Next up is radio services. You can link Sirius XM if you'd like, but otherwise radio is already enabled on these speakers. And next are voice calls. So this is probably where you're going to be asked about uploading contacts if you haven't already done that. And then the second thing is Google Duo, which is a great application that you would have to download, but then you can do voice and video data calls through your phone and through this speaker. Obviously you can't do the video ones through the the speaker but you can do those voice calls and not use your actual plan with your carrier. Now you've done the basic setup you're likely to have to install an update and just wait a few minutes there. The other things you're going to need are the capacitive touch control. So that was play and pause in the top center. And then on the sides, you're going to have the volume up and down buttons that you can tap to adjust. You can obviously tell the Google Assistant to adjust the volume however you'd like as well. But you have your basic setup here. Now, if you need a more in-depth setup with more details around connectivity, that's the video that the is up off. on screen right now. You can also have a a look at our review off. of this speaker in case you haven't made a purchase decision just yet. On.